The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside freshman forward Tyler Bowens. Tyler, an action-packed uh, 14 <laughs> minutes for you today. Ten points, three of five from the field, uh, four of seven from the line. Your second career game in double figures. How has the process been for you adapting to college play uh, and impacting the game the way you have, uh, what, eight games into your collegiate career? I think it's the coaching staff and my teammates just believing in me and pushing me every day to get better, whether it's in individual workouts or just practice. And I just I just feel like everybody pushes each other to get better. Even that the things that they do wrong, they still tell you pick your head up, keep it going. So, I mean, I just think it goes back to my teammates and my coaching staff. How helpful is it that you've got, I don't know, a quarter of the Wade Hampton High School roster <laughs> uh, here at Mossy Creek? I mean, it's, it's, it's like family. I mean, it's still family. Um, when I was at Wade Hampton, now that I'm here, it just feels like, just feels like I'm back home. Just everybody playing, but just new faces on the team. Let's turn your attention to your first bucket. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know how you did it. Right to left across the face of goal. Uh, a reverse layup. I don't even know what to call it. Fade away leaner, and you rifle in an and one play. What happened? Break down uh, that bucket. Okay, so I was posting up on, on our um, call play. Root baseline. I had already told Joshua Butts. I was going to try to dunk it because I knew he couldn't guard me. So I just stepped out, and I tried to rip through. And by the time I was going up to try to dunk it, he had fouled me. So I just tried to finesse and, and That's some level get of some finesse. up there. <laughs> you look at the effort defensively. Uh, it snaps a string of three straight games where you held your foe below uh, 40% shooting. But now you get back-to-back -back games holding teams under 60 points. What is the defensive key, especially against a team like Bluefield State that's so nope. up tempo, so, so up tempo, a team like LR that's so up tempo, to slow them down and tamp down their offensive? Numbers? I feel like it goes back to to practice. Each day we go through defensive drills and we take it seriously. Um, mostly everybody on the team, they have to be able to defend if they want to play. Even I mean, even some of the guys that do, don't play. They still take it serious, and it's just a thing that goes on. I think it's just – I think that's like our – how can you say it? That's our identity, like defense and defensive rebounding, and I think that's just our identity right now. Turn your attention to the first rematch of this season. Uh, mm -hmm. Wingate comes to town on Saturday, handled the Bulldogs over in Cuddy Arena. How do you build on the success from this one and the success over in Cuddy earlier this year? Uh, for your first rematch of the season? I think it just goes back to practice and going over the scout like, we, like we've been doing and taking it seriously because it's pretty hard to beat a college team two times in a row back-to-back. -back. So, I mean, it just goes back to practice, scout, going over everything with the coaching staff and making sure everybody's locked in before the game. 